Collins. I'm on Tawny's Board of Directors, and I'm also co-curator with Camilla Amorati of the St. Lawrence County Barn Quilts Exhibit right here at the Tawny Center in Canton, New York. It opened on February 29 and closes October 24. During the summer, we normally hold barn quilt painting classes, three-day classes right here in the lower level. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19 restrictions, we can't hold those classes this summer. So we're showing you through this video a process that we use in the three-day class to create barn quilts. Participants in the class, if they're newbies, paint a two by two foot barn quilt. It's quite easy to handle and we use this medium density overlay board which is good on two sides. The first thing students do when they arrive is they prime their board and we use Benjamin Moore primer as well as Benjamin Moore paints to create our barn quilts. After the board is primed, students then need to finish their designs. I have them draw their designs on graph paper so they understand the logic of the design and then they select their color scheme that they'd like to use. If they arrive without any idea of what design in mind, they are referred to books that I have as well as magazines for inspiration. So in the class, we cover from inspiration to installation using stainless steel screws. Once the design is in mind, the next thing to do is to actually put the design on your board, your primed board. And this particular board is being done for a United Helpers Managed Facility in the town of Parrishville. And we use a variety of, draw, of tools to actually draw the design, including framing squares, quilting tools, protractors, and measuring sticks that have metric as well as standards, since some designs demand much more precise measurements. Once you've got the design on the board, it's time to start taping for painting, and we use fraud tape, both multi-surface and delicate surface fraud tape, which comes in a variety of widths. I'm going to show you on this board over here, it's a circling maple leaves design, which is being painted by a woman for the town of Edwards, a United Helpers managed facility in the town of Edwards. And she has already done a lot of the taping but I'm going to finish taping this particular block so that you can see how the initial taping is done. We simply take the frog tape, and I like to use wide frog tape, and we rip it off the roll, and you place the tape right next to the line that's been drawn on the board. As you proceed in the process, the taping, does, the taping process does vary a bit but this is the initial taping that's done to get her started. And you press the edges down nice and hard so that the paint doesn't leak through. And then you use other tools to actually get nice crisp corners for your blocks. Once you've got the taping done, then it's time to start painting. And that's the most fun and rewarding part. And this particular barn quilt is being done for a United Helpers Managed Facility in the town of Lisbon. The woman who has been working on this particular barn quilt has painted the first coat of the light yellow and we use three coats of paint for every color and I'm just demonstrating to you how you go about applying the paint using a brush and roller. So we simply use brushes to get the paint out of the can and onto the block, pulling the paint in from the edge of the tape, now pushing the paint under the edge. And then once the paint is on with the brush, we use these nice foam rollers to actually get a nice smooth surface. I like to use four inch rollers because you can cover more territory in fewer strokes with a four inch roller. But the goal is to get a nice flat surface so that rain and dirt and ice and other materials don't accumulate on your barn quilt. So very briefly, that is the process from 
designing, to drawing, to taping, and to painting your barn quilt. I do hope you will come and visit us here at the Tawny Center. The folk store is open and the exhibit is available to look at. And once we're able to hold classes again, I hope you'll sign up and join us here in the lower level. Thank you.